This discovery launched a new field of astronomical research. Since then, thousands of exoplanets of great variety have been found orbiting distant stars. Some exoplanets are rocky, while others are gas planets. Some are believed to have water or ice, while others have seas of lava. Some orbit two or more stars at once. Some travel so close to their stars that they complete their orbit in just a few days. Some have very strange weather. One recently discovered exoplanet seems to have metallic clouds and rain made of liquid gemstones. In addition to exoplanet that orbit stars, there are also free-floating exoplanet, known as rogue planets that travel around space unattached to any stars at all. A few exoplanets have been directly photographed using infrared telescopes. You can see the photographs and learn more about direct imaging of exoplanet. However, most of the images we have of exoplanet are not actual photographs, but artist drawings. Scientists are often able to determine the size, mass, temperature, and composition of exoplanet, and with those details, they are able to estimate their appearance. These newly discovered planetary systems are very diverse and quite different from our own solar system. Every exoplanet discovery teaches us something new. The ongoing search for unknown worlds is exciting and full of promise for new discoveries. In the future, as more and more exoplanet are discovered and methods for detecting them advance, we will continue to learn more about how the universe works. Borrowing a name from the Three Bears story in which things had to be just right to be useful. Astronomers have been searching for a planet that is just right for life, the Goldilocks planet. If a planet capable of having life were to be found, it would need to have the right temperature to allow for liquid water to exist just the right distance from its star, to hot, and not to cold. This distance from a star is known as the habitable zone. It would need to have just the right gases, such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, in just the right amounts, similar to the kind of atmosphere found on Earth. It would have to be just the right size, so as not to have too much gravity or too little. It is thought that this just right planet would be just right to support life, and for most people. The possibility of life on other worlds is the most intriguing part of the search. Learn more about the Goldilocks Zone at NASA. All my channel's followers and subscribers, I thanked you for watching. Please share for your friends.